Okay, in a previous video I showed you an easy way to encrypt and decrypt text by just moving on to the next character in the ASCII table. I use the ORD and the CHR functions to do, to do that. Okay, so the more advanced one. I'm basically using the same concept. Again, I'm going to run through this whole word from the first one to the last one. But I'm not just going to move it to the next character in the alphabet. Okay, I'm actually going to use a word to encrypt this text for me. So I'm going to start with the first character in my text and I'm going to get the ASCII value. I'm going to get back to this now. Just keep that for now. I'm going to get the ASCII value of that first word plus I'm going to get the ASCII value of my word that I'm using for encryption. So I'm getting get, I'm going to get that ASCII value of the encryption word as well. And then I'm going to add both of them together. And I'm going to build up a new encrypted word using that. Okay, so every time I go to the next character, I'm going to increase I count by one. So that means I'm going to go to the second character. So the first time with the first character I'm going to use the E to encrypt. I'm going to use the ASCII value of the E plus the ASCII value of the first character inside my text. I'm going to add the two together and get a new character. And then I'm, and then I'm adding it to S, E and C. So I'm building up a new word over here. Then I'm going to move to the second character of my S code, the word that I'm using to encrypt with. I'm going to use my second character in my text and I'm going to add them together as well. And when I reach the length of this word, I need to start over using character one again. Okay, so I'm going to use character one. So let's say your text that you entered in the edit box over here is longer than four characters. It's going to loop back to the first character of my S code word to use that E to encrypt the new word again. To decrypt, I'm just using the opposite again. I'm going to minus using these ASCII values of this word over here. Okay, so it's a bit more complicated, but if you watch the first video of the easy encryption it's a lot similar except that now i'm using a word to encrypt my text i'm not sure whether there's a name for this type of encryption now i'm gonna run it quickly to show you this is the normal easy one i showed you in the previous video okay this is the more complicated one so now when i enter the word apple and I encrypt it the two P's will not have the same character next to each other so it's a lot more difficult to decrypt this message or this text but when I click on decrypt it must be able to take me back to the original word with this more simple one this one where I'm just moving one character in the ASCII table on the word Apple will always have, always have two Q's the, the character P will always be a Q and the A will always be a B so it's a little bit easier to decrypt this me method if I enter Apple it's going to be a lot more difficult because the two P's will not have the same character. Okay, another thing that I added in this program was um, the user can actually change the word he wants to use to encrypt with. So when you go to form one, you click on the form, you can change that word 
and now it will use that word to encrypt and decrypt okay you can change it to use it the way you want to use it um, the reason why I use the length S code over here is because this next word that you choose might not be four characters long okay so I can't, can't hard code it and just make it four because it might only be three characters long or ten characters long so then I want it to be the length of that specific word to use okay I hope that helped